Uh, here's the 8330 as you can tell we've got it hooked up to the 12 row planter. I'm going to start planting corn next week so I thought I'd show you a little bit of it. So we've got 12 rows. This is a John Deere Maximerge XP 1720. They're set on 36 inch row spacing so every three foot we have a hopper. We've already found one issue. Come on, come here, I'll show you something. We've got these, this is a hydraulic motor. Uh, you got three of them that churns this whole planter and you've got these sprockets and of course they wear out so. This is a strip till. We planted oats back early in the year, uh, I'd say January. So we're gonna strip till through it, 12 rows at a time, and then uh, tomorrow we'll start planting the corn. The reason why we strip till is all year the dirt just gets compacted, you know, with rains get harder and harder. So the strip till, it uh, goes anywhere from, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 inches deep. And you bust what's called the hard pan. When we plant corn, when we plant cotton, uh, those roots are able to go down in the dirt a lot easier. Dirt is saying, come on roots, just go on down, it's not going to be hard. Versus if we just jumped out here and planted on the hard dirt, the roots would be like, oh gosh, no, mm mm. I'm not going down there, it's way too hard. So we got the strip till, it's rolling. We've got 90 acres to do, so shouldn't take too long if everything goes well. Oh yeah. So we wanted about 21 ounces and looks like that's exactly what we got. Great job, Kyle. Time to start planting some corn. Let's see how it goes. Got the hydraulic pump on, check. Vacuum pressure, check. Seed has been primed, check. I think we're ready to roll. Let's try it. Hold on. If you're not perfectly straight on the line when you start out, you'll look like a snake. And we're planting corn for the first time ever. We're at about 26,000 seeds per acre on average. We want about 28. 27, bumping up. We're gonna get out and check it. So we're gonna check the seed now. What we do is, uh, you see the seed bed here. So you just play in the dirt. You dig in the dirt and see if you can find the seed. There he is. This is uh, Wes Briggs, he's our scout. We just got the corn planter set up. We're doing uh, 28,500 seeds per acre and Wes just said that he believes every single one's gonna come up. I think they all will come up. It looks like good seed. That's right. Good moisture, perfect plant condition. Soil temperature's running about, probably about 75 today. It's uh, March the 12th, and, uh, a good sunny day, a good day to be planting. Wes helps us out. Like I say, he's kind of the, the extra guy in the field. If we got any questions or problems, he's always there to help us out. So. So that's it. 
I'll show you one more thing. This is what's called the red ball system. You notice we've got 12 tubes and you see the little balls that float? Uh, well, that's the chemical we're putting out. So if I see one of those balls that drop to the bottom, then I know automatically, all right, it's the, say, third ball that dropped to my third hop or something's wrong with it. We got uh, 44 acres done, so now it's time to uh, put in some more fertilizer. So, uh, man, it's so windy, windy, windy. Can you hear me? That's one variety down. We've done planted the Delta Pine. Now we're moving on to the Dino Grow. Got 16 bags. Uh, it's that time of the day where the sun is blinding in your eyes and you can't see nothing. I'm not the only tractor driver that seems like I'm hot and then I'm freezing. Then I'm hot and then I'm freezing. It's like air on, air off. You never get comfortable. All right, we're gonna check. Uh, pretty sure my seed's getting very low. We're gonna check it out. That's it, we're gonna head on in. How many people can you fit inside of a tractor? Easily six. What would you say? Alex? Seven. Think we can fit Eight. seven, Ten. two more? No, I think five is about max. We have someone here, have another little seat here. We've got a very special uh, variety of corn seed. This is actually brand new. It's a uh, teddy bear variety. Get these hoppers loaded up. Load her up. Come on in. Got them loaded up, so uh, we're gonna plant it. I think it's uh, about 14 days. Should be coming up. Well, unfortunately, I like just a little bit finishing up. So I gotta run up to the store and grab some more corn seed. It's terrible for your body. What isn't terrible for your body these days though? Uh, real food. Good point. I'm headed to uh, my local feed and farm chemical store. And man, these guys are the nicest people. Whoever runs this establishment, um, they're, they're the most genuine, nicest people I've ever known. I mean, and they really do treat their customers like kings. It is amazing. I'm just gonna do this last one by hand. So much work driving this thing. Well, lucky me, I went to uh, go get the pivot on, and of course, this is the valve that's open. So I got some boots. I was gonna walk out there barefoot. I'm like, oh, heck no. Probably snapping turtle or something. Snap my toes off. <laughs> I don't know why I took my socks off. $13.95, wow, that's a, that's a really good deal. Got them at my local farm and feed store. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it's pretty wet. I made it! Here's the valve. Put your foot on it. Get it all the way. There we go. Now to walk back. Golly. 